Gracious and merciful God, we come before you with hearts open to receive your word. As we reflect on the passage from John 16 verses 20 to 23, may your spirit enlighten our minds and comfort our souls. Help us to understand the profound truths you have for us and to respond with faith and trust. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Reading, John 16 verses 20 to 23. Very truly, I tell you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will turn to joy. A woman giving birth to a child has pain because her time has come, but when her baby is born she forgets the anguish because of her joy that a child is born into the world. So with you, now is your time of grief, but I will see you again and you will rejoice, and no one will take away your joy. In that day you will no longer ask me anything. Very truly, I tell you, my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. In these verses, Jesus speaks to his disciples about the inevitable sorrow they will experience before his resurrection. He compares their grief to a woman in labor, acknowledging the pain but also the joy that follows. He assures them that their grief will turn to joy when they see him again, and he promises that their prayers in his name will be answered by the Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the promise of joy that comes through our relationship with Jesus Christ. In times of sorrow and grief, help us to hold fast to the hope of his resurrection and the joy that awaits us in his presence. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you all those who are experiencing grief and sorrow. Comfort them with your presence, and fill them with the hope of the joy that comes from knowing you. In conclusion, Lord, we thank you for the promise of joy that transcends our circumstances. May we rejoice always, knowing that our ultimate joy is found in you. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.